Hey guys, and uh, welcome to a new playthrough. Um, I have to can't, or well, currently, uh, Super Mario World is going to be on hiatus because I have incurred some problems recording it. So at this very point in time, I decided just to replace it for a while with Super Mario Galaxy, which is, you know, it, it's a pretty epic game, I gotta say. Um, this is my second take on it, and hopefully, we won't have any problems like we did the uh, previous parts. And well, you notice this is my favorite game. Is is actually uh, my favorite Wii game. So um, there is me, me for the win. Um, there's a little Mario I made, and uh, this is my second take on this. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this this file here. And uh, what we're gonna do is like that. That was my little brother's me. We're gonna go back and we're going to make a new one uh, again. Because it's my, like I said, it's my second take. We're gonna use my brother once again, my brother Bray Bray. We're gonna use his face. You know, it's kind of cool how to use your face as your profile, so you can kind of know which one is your profile or not. And uh, no, we're never gonna do race Bray Bray. And here we go. We're getting ready to start Super Mario Galaxy. Every a thousand years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. This comet was so large, so she said, one year it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Kind of like Darmamu. The toads brought the shooting stars into the castle where they became the great power stars. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroomy Kingdom. I don't know why, I want to say Mushroomy Kingdom. Whatever. That was the night of the Star Festival held once every a thousand years to celebrate the comet. Peach, you are so fucking hot. We don't care about you later, girl. It's the same old thing. Same old concept. We're heading to the Star Festival because Mario's jumping because he thinks he's going to get laid. And if I was Mario, I'd be jumping too. Now, Super Mario Galaxy is a very simple game. It doesn't take that much to understand. I was cutting down the thing, so here we go. Jump. There we go. Uh, this game is pretty epic. I really do like this game. Um, it's... It's, it's kind of like, it has a Super Mario 64 feel, which I really feel is the actual spirit successor. Oh, my bad. Spirit successor to the great Super Mario 64, which was so groundbreaking by most people. Now, here comes your epic cutscene. I, I guess I'll, even though it's, really, there's no point shutting up during this cutscene because there's hardly any dialogue in this game. I think in this game, Mario actually says more things than he usually says. Now, look at the graphics. Can you not love the graphics in this game? They're pretty cool, I have to admit. Especially for Wii standards game, because you know the Wii isn't a hoard of graphics. You can't help but like feel sorry for Mario either during this particular part, because the guy has done it all. You know, he's been doing this for, like six years longer than me. Six years before I've been born. With the power of Mario and the power of the skills of Kidiff 91, anything is possible for our hero. Hero for the win! That's how I shut up and let you enjoy the only person that talks. Is Peach not fucking hot? Oh my gosh. Woo. Woo. I want a Peach, um, Italian. Hmm. You think she, I, I don't know if she is or not. She's just ca uh, Caucasian, Italian. It's never really explained. And there's big boy Bowser in the his house. Apparently he lost his voice through Sunshine. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. Evil laugh. The festival's over. It's kind of like, uh, with the electricity thing, it kind of makes me wonder. It's kind of like, um, what's that show called? Um, 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 um Avatar, where everyone who could, who's able to firebend is able to use electricity. And I guess it appeals to Bowser, too. Fire, Bowser can technically fire, well, I wouldn't say firebend. He, his fucking breath stinks so bad that he's able to produce fire. That's how I always saw it, you know. I never saw Bowser as a type of dragon thingy. I just seen him as a guy who's able to spit fire. Maybe he's a Dawson of some sort. If you don't know any of what I'm talking about, then you honestly need to go back and watch cartoons or quit playing uh, the certain games and play something else. Now it's move. You know what? I'm sorry. This is like a giant nipple. <laughs> Like, do you see, like, the points of it? Like, I wish I could point with the uh, Wiimote during cutscenes because it would actually show you it looks like a 100% nipple. But my mind's in the gutter. Your mind's in the gutter, Kadif91. This is a, um, E-rated game. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But, you know, what's wrong with me talking and saying what's on my mind? 
What good are those servants? They don't even defend. The What's point of having servants who you're taller than? I swear. Get a bodyguard, Peach. Get a bodyguard. You know what I would tell this thing? Bitch, put some pants on. Put some motherfucking pants on and calm down. I can't help but feel so sorry for Mario for that shit happening. That is so fucked up. That is the worst way to start your weekend. Why did he take the foundation of the castle with him? Like, honestly, don't understand why you did that, Bowser. But, you know, whatever, Bowser, if that's how you get down, get down the way you want, Bowser. Get down the way you want. Aw, oh, shit. I must be on some high-ass tripping shit right now. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Look at that. That's a cute fucking Luma. Finally, you're awakened. Let's play. Uh, it took me, like, two minutes on the last uh, recording of this for me to catch these bunnies. Spoiler alert! But, I mean, I'm gonna catch bunnies during this time as it is, so whatever. Okay. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. So now we have to play hide and seek with the bunnies. Um, once you find one bunny, it'll, just, it'll tell you the location of the other. Some, first, you gotta knock some out of their areas. Uh, I believe there's one in the pipe. Yep. And all you really have to do to get them is to long, is to long jump. Or if you really want to make it twice as easier on yourself, you can uh, lead the bunny into water. Like, they'll eventually get to a point where they'll just stop bouncing really hard. And you'll be able to, you should be able to run and get it. See, he'll get tired. You caught me. Oh, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Now we're heading towards the crater right now. I could have still. Isn't this the crater? That is the crater. How did I miss a coin in an automatic area? Okay, this is the crater, maybe. There we go, found you. Like, lead it to some water. It'll make it so much easier. It's kind of hard playing. Like, I've never really just played a Nintendo game where I had to, um... Oh, shit. See, I'm... Okay. Gotcha. You caught me. I think the next one's gonna be in the grass, if I'm correct. I should have hidden in the grass. Found you. That was quick. Last time, this one just put itself in some water. Damn it. Come here, you. Come here, buddy. That bunny's probably thinking I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your buddy, buddy. Or something along those lines. Don't, don't quote me for the win. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you can help mama. And their mama is one sexy ass milf. Woo! Rosalina! Sorry, I had to get it out of my system. Who is this mysterious sexy woman that I just spoiled up? Never mind. It's gonna make it a climax episode, but since I clearly did a damn. 
wall jump and fucked it up. This might be a long part after all. I have been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Galaxy. Man, Rosalina, you're fucking hot. I might take a picture of that during this part. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Loomis can give you this power. I wouldn't trust it with, with your care. Or with his care, I don't know. I think it was your care. Not entirely sure. I have the electricity gloves. You know, he should have played that. Despair has struck us just as it has visited you with Luma. I hope you can rescue the grand star. Maybe the star is shining down on you. Or may the star shine down on you. That may be the star. What the fuck is wrong with me? Alright guys, we're in there join me for the next part of the Super Mario Galaxy playthrough. Later guys, God bless and peace. Yeah.